let's have a look at number 10, specimen 1. Variables a, b and c are assigned values. a equals bitmap, b equals pixel, c equals bit. Note that they are, they are all strings. Shade 1, logins, which shows the concatenation of the variables a and b shown in figure 8. Concatenation means the joining together of strings. Concatenation means the joining together of strings. So it's a plus operator concatenation. A plus B is A is bitmap plus pixel, bitmap pixel, which is B. Now let's look at the next one. Strings can also be represented as arrays of characters. For instance, the three statements below are an alternative to the statement shown. When these strings are now being represented as arrays of characters, can you see the, the sort of characters are separated out? A equals B, then I, then T, then M, A, B, B equals P, I, X, E, L, and C is B, I, T. A1 is you always start from indexing array from one in a exam question. So let's see how that works out. Shade two logences which correspond to the two true statements about these arrays. So two of these five statements are true. Now we can cheat here a bit. Let's just take the first one. A is A1 equals B1 or the expression A1 equals C1. So A1 is, what's A1? A1 is B. See, A1 is B there. A2 would be I. C1 is also B. And P1, sorry, B1 is P. So A1 is equal to B1. It's not true because B is not equal to P. But or A1 equals C1. B is equal to B, so this expression is correct. A is correct, or true. Now, let's look at E. I just happen to know that E is correct. A, okay, length of A is 6. Length of C is 3. So, 6 minus 3 is 3. So, it's A3 equals C3. Now, A3 is T, and C3 is T. Remember, index 1, index 2, index 3. Index 1, index 2, index 3, index 4, index 5, index 6. So A3 is 6, T, C3 is T. So therefore E is true. So I've just randomly kind of picked two statements and they happen to be true. So A and E are correct.